guys welcome back to the channel i appreciate the support hopefully the intro played the right way i was trying to figure out how to do it and i've been having issues with this live stream for some reason it's just becoming difficult to live stream i mean it's always something going on big shout out to some of you guys watching out there let's see who's out there john big shout out to you sir first time i see you here so it's good to see you here Gustavo, big shout out to you. Crazy Cat. Gary is in the house. Great support of the channel. And also a Patreon. So we appreciate that, sir. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Luis Bandat is out there. Hello. <laughs> that's funny, man. I don't know about that, but that's cool. I like that. Uh, big shout out to all you guys watching out there. Hopefully the microphone sounds okay for some reason. For the last, I want to say the last 20 minutes, I haven't been able to get the the microphone to work. I, it just haven't been able to. Uh, the system here won't recognize it for whatever reason. It's just so frustrated sometimes to do this. But at the end of the day, it's a lot of fun, and I have a blast doing. Gregory's out there, home runner. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are having a great time. And uh, check it out. One of the videos that i done, I'm going to talk about this video and, and kind of kind of uh, uh, give you, uh, you know, kind of, how can I put this? This is a video that I posted a while ago, uh, and essentially, here it is. Let me show you the picture. Slipping with a gun under my pillow. And as you guys can see, it has about, what, 5,000 views, about 232 likes, 5 dislikes, 231 comments. And to me... I got to tell you, to me, it's very, um, I don't know if frustrated is, is what I'm trying to say, but to me, it's kind of scary. There we go. Kind of scary. Some of the comments that I've been getting in that video, and I'm going to show you guys some of the comments here as I go through this, and we're going to talk about this for a little bit. Uh, but this is something that actually people do, and some of you guys may do this as well. Maybe some of you guys in the comments do it. And by no means, when I show this comments up here, it's not to call anybody out. It's not to, uh, um, you know, it's not to make fun of people. It's not to call people out. It's not to tell you you run. It's not to tell you, you know, anything crazy. And uh, home runners say, hit the like. Yeah, man. Thank you. I always forget to say that. Hit the like. Share the video with people that you want to share with. And, uh, and definitely put comments because... Uh, it helps out the channel a lot. So, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the reminder. You would think after almost four years of making YouTube videos, <laughs> I remember to do those, say those things. Uh, but I appreciate that. So, and, and I got to tell you, this is something that it, it's actually kind of scary. It, it is kind of scary because to me, I'm all about control. I'm all about control. I think, and I said this many times here on the channel, some of you guys are, bo you know, it's boring because I continue to say this, it's about control, it's about responsibility, it's about training, it's about safety. You know, I'm under the impression that once you own a gun, once you buy a gun, uh, you are, to me, in a way, uh, you should... Uh, seek out training. You should seek out ways to be responsible. You know, I'm I'm sitting here with my desk. You know, all this thing in the background, right here to the left. I got a huge uh, safe where I where I or locker. I use a gun locker uh, where I put uh, my guns. They are secure. I mean, they're they're truly secure. I got the lock on, all that good thing. You know, I practice a lot of weapons education with my kids. I, I tell them about guns and things like that, things that we have talked about in the past. But the reality is simple. You have to have control of your firearm. You have to be responsible for your guns. I mean, that's I, I think that's just common sense, right? Some of the guys, uh, um, you know, some of the guys that do vehicle safety, uh, vehicle uh, gun what is it called? Like, what's the term? Gun trucks or oh, truck guns? There we go. Truck guns. There we go. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not a component of that. I don't leave guns in my truck. You know, it's nine time. It's ten forty four here in my house. I don't have a gun in my car that I don't have control of. I want to have control. 
I definitely want to have control. So to me, here's simple. I'm going to show you a couple of the comments. And like I say, I'm not putting these comments here on the screen to call anybody else. I actually erase people's name because, again, I, I don't want people to argue or anything like that. My channel is not about calling people out. My channel is not about making fun of people. My channel is about, you know, just learning and have sweet fellowship here and learn from each other, right? That's what I've been doing since I started doing this thing. But here's the deal. I'll show you one of the comments. Let's start putting some of those comments. All right, so this guy sleeps. I always sleep with jeans or tactical pants. I don't know if he's playing around or not because I don't I don't think I'm going to go to sleep with tactical pants. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even know what tactical pants are, but... <laughs> He said he sleep with a uh, with a fixed blade on. Uh, consider inside the waistband ho uh, inside the waistband holster while sleeping. I think this guy's being funny. It must be he's being funny because first of all, I don't really know what tactical pants. You know, who goes to sleep with tactical pants? I mean, that's kind of funny. And I again, you know, if you're being serious and you want to sleep with a holster on. I, I wouldn't do that neither. Who wants to sleep with a holster on? Who wants to put a, a holster while you're sleeping and, and carry a gun? I mean, again, you know, this is not about this is not about having uh, having something that is going to take over your life. This is about making your life, uh, your gun part of your life. Just like the same way you grab your cell phone, you know, just like the same way that you grab your wallet. When you get home, you take that stuff off. You get comfy. You get comfortable. You watch TV. You get in your in your in your bed and, and go to sleep, guys. To me, this is not about this is not about you know. I, I gotta go to sleep with my gun on. I mean that we getting into into a little bit of too much here. And some of you guys won't agree with me. Some of you guys may be like, ah, uh, you know. I mean, just live your life regularly. Be a regular person, you know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys do it. I'm not saying that if you come home and you take a nap and you happen to fall asleep with your gun on, it's okay. But I don't see myself. Maybe I'm being kind of funny. I don't see myself getting in bed and like covering myself and I'm holstering my my firearm, and, you know, with tactical pants on. I, I just don't see myself doing that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I think I think this is this has got to be a joke, man. But uh, again, you know, maybe maybe that's why I'm not an operator. Maybe I need to put my my operator uniforms on and go to sleep with that on. But anyways, let me. The reason why I'm showing you the comments is for you guys to see that I don't make this up. But I wouldn't sleep with a pistol under my under my pillow. First of all, I don't have control. I just don't have control. How can I have control on my firearm when it's underneath my pillow? If you sleep like me, I sleep sometimes like a rock. I go to sleep. I don't wake up. I got a baby. It's eight months old, first of all. And... 90% of the time, I don't wake up in the middle of the night. My wife is, you know, telling me, hey, the baby's waking up, help me out, something like that. And I obviously, I'm always trying to help my wife the best I can. But I don't I don't wake up in the middle of the night. So if you don't have that control, if you're drowsy, you know, you're sleepy, and, and something happened, you just won't be able to get that gun. You, you just, because the gun is not going to be at that location 100% of the time. Think about this. And really think about this. When you have a holster, some of the things about a holster is to retain your firearm. So you're retaining your gun on that specific location. So now you could do that training where you could always go and look for that pistol at that location. In that location, you know the gun is there. You know the gun is is in that location. You know if you reach down, you're going to be able to find your gun if it's 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Whatever it is, you're going to find your gun in that specific location. When you put a pistol underneath your pillow, God knows when you're going to wake up. You wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and your pistol is probably across the room because you got up in the middle of the night to go and use the bathroom. Pistol fails off. Maybe you could shoot yourself accidentally, or maybe the pistol is not going to be in that location. So, again, when you wake up in the middle of the night, 
because you hear noise, because something's going on. And now between your blanket, between your pillow, between your spouse, between whatever, you're looking for a gun. I mean, it's just not going to happen. Glock 43, the thing is like this big. It's going to be all tangled up in, in, in your blanket. Really bad idea, in my opinion. I got to check some of this uh, uh, comments over here, but really bad idea. You know, a couple of guys says, hey, double the nice stand with a Kaiden. Man, why can we not keep it simple? There we go. I think John said that. Why can we not keep it simple? You know, uh, uh, men, mine is on top of the table and a Kaiden holster. Simple. Simple, stupid. You know, simple. The, the, the pistol is next to you. At an arm reach, you could reach and grab your gun and be able to engage. That's it. Simple. Why we got to make it complicated? People make it complicated for no reason. For no reason at all. Uh, let me see some of the comments. Hard target says, I disagree. I don't. I, is it what I'm saying? Sorry, man. I haven't been able to keep up all the comments. I don't know if it's what I'm saying or somebody put a comment in here. Uh, yeah, they definitely put more comments down there um okay here's another guy i have slept i have slept with my pants on with my gun on my belt on his kaiden holster when staying in a motel while traveling got it you know you know this okay got it you know this guy is traveling and and you know it maybe doesn't feel safe uh, because specific, you know, the fact that he doesn't live there, the fact that somebody has access to that room, obviously you could be sleeping in the middle of the night and, and maybe somebody could open the door and, and got, I, I could potentially see that. No doubt about it. You know, I tried to be open-minded, right? Um, recently I went to Georgia and I still have like three videos that I haven't posted. Some of you guys keep asking me about the videos. Uh, but yeah, I got three more videos. So if you see videos, me in Georgia, that's, that's where I'm doing. Uh, but you know what? I was kind of not really worried, but I was kind of like, OK, I don't know who has a key to this place. I mean, it was a cabin was in the middle of the middle of the mountains. Beautiful location. Beautiful. I mean, amazing. One of the best vacations that I ever had. And believe it or not, it wasn't really that expensive. It was about one hundred and fifty dollars a night. And $150 a night is a lot of money to me. I'm not rich. But uh, once again, when you look at a, a crappy hotel out there anywhere, it's $150 a night. So to be a beautiful place, very, very luxury, um, you know, just amazing location, I thought it was nice. So and it was the first vacation that me and the wife get like in two years. So it was nice to recharge the batteries and all that. I still make YouTube videos and uh, and all that good deal. But. You know what? I was like, okay, in the middle of the night, I don't know if somebody's going to open this door. I don't I don't have control of this locks. I don't have control of this location. I don't have my dog that I have right here. So what I did was that I took uh, a, a piece of furniture that was there. I think it was a chair, and I put it behind the door, and I kind of kind of locked that door in place. So to me, it was simple. And again, I was in the mountains. You know, you couldn't, I mean, we didn't even see a person in four days. Uh, but to me, it was simple. You know, somebody opens the front door and goes to go to the room and start kicking on that door is going to give me enough time for me to grab my Glock 17. I had the Glock 17 and the Glock 19 and put rounds down t down in target. You know, again, we, we remember bullets go through walls and bullets go through through doors. So um, so again, you know, now sleeping with pants on and a gun. Probably not really my first choice, knowing that I was there with my wife and my kid and my little baby was sleeping next to me. I'm not going to sleep with a gun uh, again with my baby next to me. I have no control of that gun. I want to have control. So let me show you a couple of comments here. All right. I sleep with my Glock, with my gun, G26 under my pillow. <laughs> it has fallen in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> while shimber but never goes off gun off wow so this is what i'm talking about this dude is sleeping with his glock 26 and it actually has hit the floor so again i'm not making this up right i really i'm really not making this up this is this is the kind of stuff that i get comments about so i figure that you know i i, I just take some pictures and show it to you guys and again i'm not trying to make fun of people i'm just saying how irresponsible is that do not put your gun in a location that you lose control. 
you cannot lose control of your firearm. Maybe because I was in the Marine. Marines are like very, very strict on control. You drop your gun and you push. And you will have three, four sergeants, you know, doing things to you that uh, uh, is is probably considered ha hazing nowadays, you know. Um, again, another guy had a friend used to sleep with a 38 under his pillow. Uh, into one night while he was dreaming, he stuck his hand, hand under the pillow, grabbed and almost shot himself in the face. There we go. We need, do we need any? I mean, this thing happens. This thing happens. Uh, put it under the pillow without one in the chamber. That's a comment that I've been getting a lot. So, again, you put in your gun under your pillow, but it's not ready. To me, um, again, to me, it's not good. My home defense pistol is ready. I don't have time. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have time to get up. I don't have time to rack my pistol. I don't have time to do none of that stuff. If something happened, all I have time to is to take care of business. Today, we had what? We had an incident that happened in Orlando where five people got killed. And then the gunman shot himself. Uh, I want to say last night, it was an issue here in my neighborhood in Palm Coast. Uh, where three guys, I want to say it was three guys, uh, uh, had a home invasion. So I actually forced them sell inside the house and pistol whip another guy. And the police was out there holding AR-15s and going house by house. Crazy thing is that this morning at 730 in the morning, the police actually knock on my door. And I was like, whoa, what's going on here? And they were asking for some other dude. They were like, hey, do you know this David somebody? And I was like, no. They were like, how long have you been, you know, how long have you been living here? I said that amount of time, and they were like, okay, have a good day or whatever, and they left. And they were going door to door looking for this David dude. I don't I don't know who that who the heck is that guy. But again, stuff happens. Stuff happens uh big time. So again, I'm not making this up. Here's the deal. I have been sleeping with with a gun under my pillow for over seven years, and I'm still here. You're right, you know, you're right, it happens. You're still here into that day. I don't know what to tell you into that day that just because you've been doing something that is probably not really safe and nothing has happened. It doesn't mean that it is nothing never is going to happen. So I'm going to take a look at some of these comments here. Simplify to all the Marines out there. Coke Zero. You guys know I like this. Probably not good. Probably this is why I'm fat because drinking this thing. But. Here's the deal, guys. I'm a big, oh, big shout out to Frank and Mattel, Greg, um, Gregory's out there. Awesome dudes. Great supporters here. Uh, but this thing is crazy. To me, this thing is crazy. I mean, I would not recommend you to do this. You're going to see the stuff in the comments. You're going to see things like this in the comments. You're going to see things like this that people do. To me, this is crazy. You should not, by no means, you should not put your gun under your pillow. You shouldn't do it. You lose control. It's just a, a firearm that is not really pointed. It, it pretty much violates safety rules because it's pointed to you, you don't even know where. I mean, yeah, you could go to sleep and point it this way. Well, by the time that you get up in the morning, that, that, that gun may be pointing this way because you have no control of that gun, zero control. So I wouldn't do it. I would not do it at all. I think we need to keep it simple. I think it's just very, very easy. I think this is an easy solution. Put the gun in the nice stand right on top, right there next to you. You know, there it was another comment. I don't think I read that comment. It's a guy that actually set up some type of holster. I don't know what happened to the comment, but it was a guy that set up some type of holster. And he actually attached a holster to the side of the bed. That's fantastic. Why? It's retained. It's in the same location. The trigger guard is protected. You know that you could reach to that location just like any other holster, and it's going to be there. You know that. It's going to work. Uh, so again, crazy stuff. I, I wouldn't do it. I'm sorry. I know some of you guys may disagree uh, with me, and, and it's okay to do that. 
I, I just think it's very unsafe, and it's definitely a practice that you shouldn't do. Have control of your gun. Make it simple. It's simple. It's really simple. Put it in right next to you, man. You know, why we got to go into this ninja stuff, you know? Like, I'm going to put the gun underneath my pillow because put it next to you. In the middle of the night, something happened. By the time that you open your eyes, you start looking, putting your hands underneath your pillows and all this, you wasted more time than if you would have looked to the right or to the left and one arm distant and grabbed your gun. You actually wasted more, t- more time. So, all right, I think I ranted for a little bit here. I'm not really, I'm not really myself today. I'm kind of, kind of tired. Usually, I'm more hyped up, but apologize for that. Um, let's see who's out there. Big shout out to Gary. Uh, let's see if you guys got any comments, put it in the comment section or any anything uh, that you want me to cover. And I'm reading the comments now. Uh, see. So yeah. Uh, hard target said hard target hard target got a good comment he said here uh the way he see it on underneath his uh underneath his head the only way anyone could get is without waking me up okay so essentially here the comments are going pretty fast but he's saying that uh um you know you don't want somebody to take your gun you put it in the nice stand somebody could take your gun right so if you're going to take it underneath your pillow uh, it's definitely, uh, uh, they definitely got to wake you up. I mean, to me, it's simple. If, if somebody's trying to, first of all, if somebody's in front of you and wants to do something bad, I mean, he's not going to reach underneath your pillow to, to grab your gun. He's going to do something bad to you. If the person standing in front of you while you're sleeping, you're done. I mean, he's probably going to shoot you, beat the crap out of you, hit you with a, with a two by four. Who knows? I mean, you're done. I mean, you're sleeping, the dude's in front of you, he has the, the super advantage. He probably doesn't even know that you have a gun. If you have, if you if you are able to react, if you're able to get the gun after he he pretty much hits you, shot you, or stab you, I mean, there could be a chance, got it. But the possibility so that happens, I wouldn't even go there. If you want to gain the advantage, there's all the ways to gain that advantage uh, without putting a gun underneath your pillow. One could be locking your, your room door. Maybe you put a chair behind the room door so somebody's banging on that door. It gives you the advantage to wake up. Uh, obviously, having a dog. I mean, there's multiple things that you could do to gain a little bit of advantage other than putting a gun underneath uh, your, your pillow that you're going to lose control of it. I mean, it's just a conversation. I guess what you're saying, by no means I'm criticizing you or anything, is that's what you want to do, brother, go for it. But to me, it's a gun that is unsafe. It's not really protected. It's not really, uh, we don't know where that gun is facing. I mean, there's too many complications that could happen from that. If you really want to get in that advantage and have those few seconds to, to react to a situation, there's all the ways uh, other than that. What I, w- I could say, you know, like I said uh, right before this, I said that a couple of guys have holsters that they attach to a bed, and then they could reach into that and grab the holster. Uh, or grab the the pistol, maybe a holster behind the bed, or maybe something like that. I will be more inclining to that than actually having a holster, uh, uh, having a pillow underneath my my. I mean, having a gun underneath my pillow. Again, it's a simple fact that in the middle of the night you turn this way, you turn that way, and by the time you open your eyes, your blanket is probably on the floor, and you went to the bathroom, and next thing you know, you don't even know where you where your gun is. You, because, again, you move in the middle of the night, and, and you lose control. Full, full Spectre Survivors in the house. Big shout out to him. Definitely go and check out his, uh, his channel. He's awesome. Just awesome. Yeah, I said it. Full Spectre Survivors is awesome. Um, let's see. There's a, couple of, there's a couple of guys in here that I want to say. Big shout out to somebody just said something about Miami. Um, I went to Miami Memorial Weekend and uh, it was horrible, man. Horrible, horrible. I mean, I, I wanted to do a rant just to talk about Miami, how horrible it was. <laughs> there we go. Julio say, hope all is all is well. Greeting from Miami. Uh yeah, man, I went to Miami Memorial Weekend, which is horrible. I went to see my mom, and it was so hot. 
and just hot. It was brutal, man, brutal, and uh, uh, and it's so crowded, man. I mean, you can't even drive. You cannot drive because the traffic is so bad. I, I just can't take it, man. I'm I'm I like my quiet little town where where there's a bunch of old people, and one of the things that annoys me more. Some of you guys are gonna say, well. One of the, my, the things that annoys me more is tolls. I hate paying tolls. And Miami is full of tolls. I mean, I'm telling you, every exit that you take, you got to pay 75 cents. And it just upset me. Because to me, it's simple. I already pay taxes. Why would I continue to pay your taxes? I mean, yeah, I got it. You know, tolls are going for the roads. And they got to I'm already paying taxes. So why would I pay more taxes? So, or why would I pay tolls when I pay taxes already? So, to me, I that's a totally different video. We could go into that for, like, forever. But, all right. So, yeah, tolls. Are, by the way, I passed, like, like those some passes or whatever they are. I passed, like, three of them. So, I'm sure one of those days I'm going to get them in the mailbox uh, so I could pay the state of Florida all the some passes or whatever they're called. Uh, Gregory say if I have hollow points in my 42, yeah, I got Hornery, Hornery, Critical Duty or Critical Defense, one of those, man, 380, uh, obviously Glock 42, so a 380, Hornery, Critical Duty or Critical Defense, one of the two. Um, let's see. Um, tolls for everything. Yeah, you're right, man. I hate those tolls, man. I, I just hate it. I cannot tell you how much it bothered me. So that's just uh, um, kids never to sleep. <laughs> yeah, there we go. If you're gonna put your uh, your gun underneath your pillow, just don't go to sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I the only good thing that I had in Miami was that I actually had a, a good time seeing my mom. And uh, I was actually able to get a pretty good discount, I guess, after I paid all those tolls. I had to get a good discount at, uh, at the place that my mom works. And uh, it was the first time that the baby jumped in the pool. And it was all right. But it started to rain. But, you know, it's okay. Uh, I sleep. There we go. Gerald said I sleep with my eyes open. That's definitely a solution. <laughs> Uh, pay tolls. Yeah, Mattel say I hate paying tolls. Yeah, I, I, I just do. Man, you know what? They, they, I'm sure I'm not educated on it. I'm sure they somebody could come here w and give me a, a spill on why and yada yada yada. Uh, but to me, it, the toll, the the tax system is out of control. Again, I want to be a team player. I want to help out. I want to be part of the solution. I don't want to be part of the uh, or the or the fighting. Or I don't want to be. I don't want to be. The person that say, well, you're not being a team player. Got it. I understand that we have to pay our dues uh, in, in some ways. I understand that we got to pay taxes and things like that. But it's out of control, man. I mean, there is so much wasting of money uh, that it's just unbelievable. I hate it. I mean, to me, it's simple. You know, tolls is another way. I was going down I-95 and legitimate four lanes on the right side. Uh, I guess the way that I went inside I-95, I went into the toll section and the two lanes that I was driving was barely any cars. And then the other four lanes were like completely busy and people were like, well, you know what? You pay money, you go in, in, in this section of the I-95, which has barely any cars. But to me, it was like, well, the guys in the other side are pretty much just stuck in traffic. But if we would have opened all six lanes or all, all, however many lanes there were, there probably wouldn't be any any traffic in the other side. So in a way, they're making people, you know, obviously people go like, well, might as well pay the $2 or so the dollar seventy five to not take any traffic. Uh, so in a way, they kind of force you to, to pay the money because, again, you don't want to be stuck in traffic. You want to take the other side. So to me, it's like those guys, we pay taxes. Why would I why would I have to pay more money? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. So.
Yeah. We in the wrong business. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me. Uh, uh, I-95, what state are you in? I'm in the Sunshine State, man, Florida. Um, I'll tell you what, I miss. I, I, I do miss some things about North Carolina. I love the Carolinas. This weekend, actually, I just passed. I dropped uh drop up to South Carolina and, and I just uh missed the Carolina. Yeah. All right. So there it is. My wife put a comment in there. So that's a good reminder that I need to finish this out. All right, guys. So, anyways, I wanted to talk about this. I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, again, it's just uh, I'm probably going to live stream tomorrow, too. I'll be, I'm going to live stream this week uh, just doing a little bit of testing here in the YouTube new changes that YouTube has made um, here in the platform. Um, obviously, you guys know that the changes have affected many channels. Um, they also done some changes to the sidebar. If you guys, some of you guys that like the channel, you probably appreciate this type of information. But they did some changes to the sidebar. Those are actually called suggested videos. So as you're watching this video, if you're watching in the phone, you could probably look around uh, right below that. There's a couple of videos that are suggested. Uh, a large majority of my views, or a large majority of the views come from those videos, by the way. Not really subscribers. People don't really know that. So YouTube done some changes to that sidebar. And uh, typically the first four videos used to be belong to the channel, whatever channel you're watching. And because of those changes, I think my view count has been lower. Uh, maybe, maybe I probably draw, lost about a thousand views a day at least. Uh, out of that the channel still gets about you know 10,000 10,000 to 11,000 views a day so uh, it's, it's amazing you know it's amazing that we get to do this it's amazing that we get to pass this information for some of you guys out there it says well your opinion doesn't value anything our opinion here in the gun community is, is critical to the second amendment fight again it's critical you look at all those gun channels and, and they're collecting uh, millions millions of views a day so today I'm gonna I kind of gonna challenge you guys. Go out there and talk about guns with someone. You know, just don't be don't be like oh you know you should get a gun because it's your right. Not just like that. You know, try to try to invite somebody go shooting or something. I was just talking to the wife about this. Guns have been associated to killing. Don't get me wrong. Guns are used to you know stop bad people, right? And bad people use guns to kill good people. But nowadays, it feels like people have lost the, the, the fundamentals. I mean, guns are a lot of fun. It's a great time to go out there shooting with your family. So take somebody out. You know, call a buddy of yours this weekend coming up and be like, hey, dude, let's go shooting. Buy a box, buy two or three boxes of ammo, you know, spend a little bit of money and take somebody out there and put some rounds down range and have fun. I mean, yeah, definitely do that. So, anyways. <laughs> oh, man. Time time for bed. Good. <laughs> thanks, brother. Thanks, thanks. I appreciate it. So, yeah, go all there. So, go all there and have a good time. I appreciate everybody that is watching. Really, really do. Thank you so much for the support. Stay tuned. Big shout out to all you guys out there. You guys are awesome, guys. And as always, God is in control.